The 11th Asia-Europe meeting has come to a close in Mongolia. Leaders there have set the vision for Eurasia's future. After marking 20 years of cooperation, President Park Geun-hye secured the backing of leaders for South Korea's efforts to denuclearize North Korea and hopefully one day unify the Koreas. Song Ji-son reports from Ulan Batar. President Park Geun-hye has called North Korea the missing link in fulfilling Asia and Europe's common dream of peace and prosperity. At the retreat session of this year's awesome summit, President Park said Pyongyang's self-isolating development of nuclear weapons is preventing Eurasia from achieving more. President Park said one missing link of completing Eurasia's vision is North Korea and that it would be extremely difficult to realize the potential of a cooperation or connectivity between Asia and Europe without resolving the North Korean issue. President Park asked for Asia and Europe's support in unifying the two Koreas, saying it's the only way to resolve North Korea's nuclear and human rights issues. In its Ulaanbaatar chair statement, the ASEAN group condemned Pyongyang's nuclear and WMD programs in the strongest terms calling them a grave violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions. Following the brutal terror attack in Nice on Thursday, Asian and European leaders also adopted a statement on global terrorism, strongly condemning all acts of terrorism, regardless of its objective, purpose or location. ASEM leaders also welcomed President Buck's proposal to hold the ASEM Economy Ministers meeting in South Korea next year and agreed to iron out the details at high-level trade talks at the end of this year. Wrapping up our itinerary at the awesome summit, President Park is now set for the Korea-Mongolia summit on Sunday. Together with her Mongolian counterpart, Chahia el Dorj, the two sides will seek to strengthen their comprehensive partnership on economic cooperation and North Korea policies. Song Ji-sang, Arirang News, Ulaanbaatar.